welcome to shruti lakshmi's virtual classroom today we are going to see the divisibility rules for 5 and 10 first let's see the divisibility rule for 5 a number that is divisible by 5 must end in 5 or 0 so let's observe the multiples of 5 here which are 5 10 15 20 25 30 and so on as you see they end in a 5 or a 0 so let's see an example 8765 so to check if it is divisible by 5 we see if it ends in a 5 or 0 if it ends in a 5 or 0 that means it's divisible so here 8000 Seven hundred and sixty-five ends with a five, so it is divisible by five. So five four three two eight zero. Here the number ends with a zero, so this number is also divisible by five. Now let's see four thousand seven hundred eighty-nine. Here four thousand seven hundred eighty-nine ends with a nine. Since it does not end with a five or zero, it means that four thousand seven hundred eighty-nine is not divisible by five. Now let's see the divisibility rule for ten. A number is divisible by ten if its one place is zero. And also remember that numbers that are divisible by ten are also divisible by five. So let's see this example, seven thousand eight hundred and ninety. So to check if seven thousand eight hundred and ninety is divisible by ten, we look at the ones place. It has to be zero. So here we have a zero in the ones place. So that means seven thousand eight hundred and ninety is divisible by ten. Let's see another example, three five seven two zero five zero. Here the number ends with a zero, so that means this number is divisible by ten. Let's see another example, five thousand three hundred forty-one. Here the ones place is one, so that means five thousand three hundred forty-one is not divisible by ten. Thanks for watching.